What's up everybody? Jonathan Register here. I wanted to give you guys a super quick video here and just kind of wanted to walk you through something. Um, yesterday I actually have a, a intern um, working with me and helping me in my business and um, so I, I put together this little uh, drawing for him because he's brand new. Like He, he knows nothing about internet marketing. Um, he he comes from a marketing background, but you know, really in the offline world, and has nothing knows nothing about internet marketing. And so I I drew this picture for him, and it really seemed to help. I mean, to put all the pieces of the puzzle together for him. And you know, after going through this with him, he's he's got it. He understands it. I mean, this this business model, this uh, you know, the internet marketing thing. Um, it's not that complicated when you kind of look at it the way that I've drawn it out here. Um, and this is, you know, regardless whether you're, you're in network marketing, internet marketing, affiliate marketing, whatever, if you're trying to build a business online, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk you through it just like I did with him and show you a few things along the way. I'm going to try to, you know, I, I don't want to yeah, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, um, so I may not go in depth on every single thing. I may skip a few things, but I'll I'll go through enough so that you're dangerous. Um, so you know, here here this is the model. This is the model, and I got my trusty little pen here so I can kind of draw. Um, but here at the top, it all starts with traffic, and not just any traffic, but targeted traffic. And you get you know, in traffic, it's just eyeballs. It's just people. <laughs> it's just eyeballs looking at your site. And we'll go here in a second. So you get traffic, a few places that you can get traffic. Um, you, get, you got Facebook, you got solo ads, you got banner ads. Um, my two favorites are solo ads. I haven't done a lot of banner ads yet, but I will. That's the next thing that I'm doing. That's the next big thing that I'm doing. And the reason I love solo ads is because it never changes. Facebook, they're changing their rules all the time, and you know it's uh, you, you always have to stay on top of it. It always changes. But solo ads, um, solo ads never ever change. Hold on, let me uh, I'm clicking around too much. So basically, the my my intern that's helping me out, helping me build my business. I'm having him focus solely on on Facebook, and he's going to help me um, start generating leads and all that uh, through Facebook. So. Traffic. You got to have traffic, and it starts with traffic. If you don't have traffic, none of this other stuff down here, none of this, none of it matters. <laughs> so, but before you start getting traffic, you do have to have these things in place. So, the next thing you get these, tra so you get this traffic. Where do you send these people? You're sending them to a squeeze page. The whole purpose of the squeeze page is to collect people's email addresses. So you want their emails. Um, the reason you want their email address is so you can follow up with them later at a later date. Or actually, follow up with them just right after they enter their information here at the squeeze page. You're going to send them an email um, directing them back to this page here. And I'll show you that in a second. So let me just show you an example of my squeeze page um, so you can actually visualize this stuff. So here's my squeeze page. And basically, it's a little kind of little mini survey thing. People come in and then they enter their email address. Once they click this button, they're taken to my offer, uh, which we're going to talk about that in a second. So with the squeeze page, you always want to be split testing this. You always want to be um, running multiple, you know, testing this against another lead capture page. Because as we're sending traffic, we want to get as many people opting in here as possible as many email addresses as possible the more the better and the reason we want that is because that's gonna be more people that we can follow up with and that's more people who are likely to buy what we're offering them or if you're in a business opportunity the more people that might potentially join your business and actually you know if 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 you're trying to recruit into a business opportunity um, you know, you might want to, you know, for, for me, when I'm recruiting into a business opportunity, 
I I don't really necessarily want every Joe Schmo. I'm I'm more selective. So with my lead capture page for my business opportunity, I have a you know I not only have a field for the email address, but I have a field. Oh, my phone's ringing. Let me uh, mute that. Sorry about that. I not only have a field for the email, but I also have a field for um, let me clear this out for phone number. And I have a name field, and then I have a, and obviously you got to have the email. So that's on my business opportunity page, my lead capture page. I'm collecting all of this information, and the reason I'm doing that is because I rather have more quality than quantity as far as the business opportunity, because I don't want to waste my time on people, you know, just on 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 people who aren't really all that serious about it. But versus this, you know, where I'm selling a product, um, you know, I want as many emails as possible uh, because I'm going to be following up with these people through email. So maybe they may not be all that serious right now. They may not be ready to buy right now, but at some point in the future, they might. So hopefully that makes sense. I mean, for the biz op, I want more quality than quantity. Um, I rather, I, I quite frankly, I rather deal want to. I rather deal with less people than 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 tie. You know, I don't want to deal with tire kickers, not serious people, all that. So hopefully that makes sense. Maybe I didn't, maybe I confused you there, but hopefully not. So okay, we so we got the squeeze page. You want to constantly be split testing this. So basically testing this against another page, um, another lead capture page, and I I am running a split test right now, and I'm actually testing something very 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 simple. Uh, when you're split testing, you only want to split test. One like one change at a time, so I don't think I can even show you the other page that I'm testing, but it looks exactly like this. The only difference between this page and the other page that I'm I'm testing it against is um, a couple words. <laughs> right here, I have poop. <laughs> On the other lead capture page, I'm testing. I don't have poop. I have dog crap. <laughs> you know and. I don't know, like, with split tests, you want to kind of have fun with it and play around, and, you know, you'll be surprised by changing, you know, one word, one word to something like this, it could potentially increase the number of, the number of people opting into your site, and that's a win. That's a good thing. So you, you got to, you want to, you want to play around with it and have fun and just test weird things like that. Once I finish testing that, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to test moving this right here. Oops, this step one, two, three. I'm going to test moving this above the headline and see if that increases the conversions. Okay, so that's maybe a little too deep. Then maybe you want to go, but I mean, I, I love this stuff, and it's I want to kind of just share w with you what I know and what I'm doing. So that's the squeeze page. From the squeeze page, they're taken to the offer. The offer is just something, a product that I'm selling. And the same thing, you know, like I'm, I'm split testing. I'm split testing this page. I'm also split testing this page. And I have a whole a, a different video that I'm testing. Actually, I created a brand new video last night. And I'm going to be um, split testing this video um, with another video. Um, and it's going to be, everything's going to be the same, except for the, the videos are going to be different. And that's a key thing. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to test more than one thing. Otherwise, if you do have a bump in conversions or a decrease in conversions, you're not going to know why if you're testing multiple things. All right, so let's go back to this. So you got the traffic. They go to your squeeze page. Um, you want to split test the squeeze page. You want to split test the offer. And, and I put here, you, you can probably barely, barely read that. But this says irresistible offer, irresistible offer. That's a key important thing, and I'm not going to even talk about that right now, but it's important. It is really, really important. So from the offer, it's the product that I'm offering for sale, and this leads to um, you know, an upsell, an OTO, and high ticket, you know, and, and different things. So... If you don't, you know, if you're going to use paid traffic to this, um, which I you know, I definitely encourage you to do, to do if you want to build up a, you know, be able to scale your business, you know, paid traffic is the way to go. 
you need these elements. You need these elements. And I'm testing all kinds of different things here. Uh, and then lastly, from here, um, you want to do the daily email follow-up. And basically, the daily you're, you're sending out daily emails that lead people back to this offer, to this product. So basically, I'm sending out emails, and I'm directing people back to here back to this page encur encouraging them to check it out and and buy if they're if they're serious if they wanna wanna build their business um, and then from there um, what you wanna do is you want to ultimately after you know maybe three to ten days or so of sending people back to this one offer send them to a different offer because quite frankly I mean people may not be interested in your f first offer so instead of just pounding them pounding them, sending them to this over and over and over and over again, um, excuse me, um, after three to ten days, send them to something else. Um, or they might end up buying this product here. And so, you know, after three to ten days, they'll, they'll, they'll either buy it or they won't buy it. Either way, um, after three to ten days or so, you want to send them to a different product so they can check that out. And it might be something that's better suited for them, better fit for them. Uh, in their business and and real quick these daily emails you know you don't want to have just big old sales pitches you know like you don't want your email saying you know buy now like that's all you do you just you just pound people buy now buy this check that check this out this is the coolest most awesome thing in the world um, you know, you, you don't want to do that because that's going to turn people off and, you know, what they're going to do, they're going to hit this little button, unsubscribe. Um, and, and people will hit the unsubscribe button regardless what you do, so don't worry about those people. But if, if you're pounding people with buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, they will, you'll get a lot of people unsubscribing. Um, so in these emails, so, you, so what you do is you, sh you share stories. You share how to. You share videos like this, and you just be a real person. Show, show you. Let your true self shine through. Be you. And if you do that, people will love you. They will love you to death. So this whole process. What is it called? What the heck is this whole process? It's called a sales funnel. That's what it is. I mean, that's that's exactly what this whole process is. Um, you know, the, it, and, and really a sales funnel, it's actually this, the, the structure, this, it's the squeeze page, it's the offer, um, it's the daily email follow-ups, um, it's the upsells, the OTO, the high ticket, it's, it's the, the process that you're taking people through. And to, to make all of this work, to make money, to make sales, it starts with traffic. It starts here. If you don't have traffic, none of this stuff matters. But at the same time, before you start sending traffic, like you need this stuff in place. So that's it. I mean, this is a sales funnel. This is how you know any successful business out there. This is how all of the gurus out there. This is what they have. They have a sales funnel, and they have all this in place. They're sending traffic to it, and and there's another element. There's another piece of the puzzle, um, but I'm not going to share it with you now. We'll have to save that for another time. It's an extremely, extremely important element that makes the gurus, I mean, it makes the traffic almost not even matter. <laughs> and uh, we'll sh I'll share that with you for another time. So, guys, that's it. You know, no sales pitch here. Just wanted to give you value. Just wanted to help you. I hope this kind of puts the pieces of the puzzle together. No matter what business, you know, no matter if you're network marketing, you're in internet marketing, you know, you need to have a sales funnel. You need to have this stuff in place. And, um, you know, like if you're recruiting people into a business, you need a sales funnel. If you're selling products, you know, if you're selling other people's products, you can use their sales funnel. Um, you know, you can send, send traffic directly to um, here using your affiliate link. link and, and there's kind of different things you can do. Or you can license a sales funnel, license someone else's sales funnel. And that's kind of a, that's actually what I did. And I did that. A uh, couple months ago, three, four months ago, and uh, I licensed my mentor sales funnel, and I got it all set up. And literally, I ran an ad, I sent traffic to the funnel, and the very next day, I had a thousand dollar 
day. <laughs> and I spent like $20. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, this is what makes you know, makes it look like magic, having the sales funnel in place. All right, guys, that's it. This video went a little longer than I wanted to, but hopefully I kind of cleared things up for you. This isn't hard. It's not that complicated. If you understand this whole process here, then you've got it. And then, then from there, you can just, you know, you need to learn how to create traffic and you got to build this stuff first. You got to have this stuff laid out first before you start using the traffic so you can create money. And so, most importantly, you can create freedom. Freedom for you and your family. That's, that's why I do this, um, to help people. But, you know, at the end of the day, if I help enough people, I will get freedom. And, and I've already gotten a lot of freedom. So I want, I want the same thing to happen to you. Have an incredible day. Talk to you later.